Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace, blessings, and mercy of God be upon you. This is a short presentation from www.central-mosque.com about Halloween or Samhain pronounced Sawin. So, what is it? Let's explore it through history until today. Celtics, their new year ended with uh, on the 31st of October which means the new year obviously began on the 1st of November. What they believed is on that day, on the evening of it in particular, demons, witches, and evil spirits roamed around the earth, and they basically, uh, in order to ward off the evil impact of these demons and witches and stuff, they wore disguises, they offered them fancy foods and sweets and stuff to protect themselves. So that is the, the, the pagan background of where uh, Halloween or, or, or Samhain actually comes from. So let's explore some other ideas uh, in our time in the last 20 30 years the first person that i want to talk about is this guy anton levy he actually founded the satanic church and actually wrote the satanic bible if you have some problems understanding my words as a muslim this basically this guy actually actually wrote the bible of the shaitan and he what basically says that the three most important holidays in the 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 life and in the lifestyle of a satanist person who worships shaitan or chooses to worship shaitan uh, is basically his or her own holiday uh, birthday solstices and equinox you know and when the seasons switch you have the longest day of the year you have the shortest day of the year so that's the second and the third most important event in the life of a satanist is halloween he actually wrote that in the satanist in the satanic bible let's then move on to Christianity. Um, as far as Catholic Church is concerned, there's a long history of Catholic Church speaking out against Halloween. In our time, and particularly from 2014 onwards, what they've done is they advise the churches who follow uh, the Catholic teaching to actually have a counter event, and they call it Holy Ween. And in, in this, what they do is they actually gather uh, in a church and they have a mass, which means worship and they and they pray and so on and so forth. Uh, and they encourage people to actually busy themselves in this Holy Ween instead of Halloween. What I find interesting is the Greek Orthodox Church, which is basically the Russians. And if you have ever been to Palestine, the Holy Church of Saplica. And they basically say that, you know, I, I, I read about this and they said, instead of arguing what what is the background of it, of, of this Halloween and children are just having harmless fun, they said, forget about that. They say in today's world of spiritual apathy and listlessness, which are the roots of atheism and turning away from God, one is urged to disregard the spiritual roots and origins of secular practices when the outward forms seem ordinary entertainment and harmless. I, I find this very interesting because people say, you know, the children are just dressing away and they're going around and getting some harmless candy what can be what can be possibly wrong with it and what they're saying no doesn't matter whether the outward form of this is ordinary or entertaining or harmless they basically go against this and they said it is a non-christian practice mormon church joseph smith actually wrote it is not a good practice to become intrigued by satan and his mysteries no good can come from getting close to the evil it is like playing with fire Jehovah's Witness, they say celebrations like Halloween are in conflict with biblical teachings. The Bible warns there must never be anyone amongst you who dot 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 practices divination, or who is a soothsayer or ogre or sorcerer, or who uses charms, consults ghosts or spirits, or calls up the dead. Majority of the practicing Christians in the world do not practice this uh, Halloween in in the state that is done doesn't matter whether it's harmless or, or as as the Orthodox Church says uh, seems entertain entertaining or, or or you know on it on the face of it they basically advise against it. When it comes to Judaism, the the practicing Jewish people they say halacha, which is basically their Sharia, prohibits Jewish participation in the holiday. The reason for that is basically Jews are forbidden by the Torah to partake in Gentile customs. Uh, and it's basically uh, the practicing uh, uh, Jewish people also refrain from participating or having their children participate in this holiday by and large. 
do you really want me to talk about Islam? I mean, give it a rest. So basically, I've given it the, the quotation from the Satanic Bible. I've given it the quotation from majority sects within Christianity. I've given it the, the prohibition from Judaism. I mean, what do you think? I mean, a holiday which has got its origins in, in, in these ghastly business of evil spirits and devil worship and stuff like that. Of course, Islam prohibits it. There's, there's basically no doubt about it, right? I mean, they, they, they're people, some modernist Muslims and stuff, and they're saying basically harmless fun. No, it's not. Basically, it is, it is an event which is the third most important event of the year in the life of a Satanist. Why would any Muslim celebrate something like that or let his or her children participate in it? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the guidance may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to learn and follow the pristine example of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.